Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. In this video, I would like to share how I created this. Before getting into the topic, I would like to thank you for being here and supporting me. If you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. That would be highly appreciated. To create this animation, I am using stock images and stock videos from various sites. I can provide you the link of the websites, but I can't provide you the files since they are copyrighted. Sorry for that, but I will surely leave the website links in the description below. Let's get into the topic. Fire up After Effects and create a new composition. I am choosing a 1920 by 1080 composition with a frame rate of 30 and a duration of 8 seconds. I am naming the composition as text. Create a new text layer and type in whatever you want. I am typing in subscribe. Align the text to the center of the composition. Bring in the reflection map PNG file to the composition, drag and drop from the project panel and scale it down to the size of the text. Search for motion tile from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the reflection map. Click on mirror edges. Increase the output width and output height so that it fills the entire composition. At the start of the timeline, create a keyframe for the tile center and go to the end of the timeline and change the value of the X position to around minus 1000. Right click the reflection map layer and click on pre-compose. Click on the move all attributes and name the composition as reflection map and click OK. Now change the track mat of the pre-composed layer to alpha mat. Let's see what it looks like. Fine. Search for CC glass from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the reflection map layer. Change the bump map to subscribe. Softness to 50. Search for CC blob lies from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the reflection map layer. Select the blob layer as subscribe and the property to alpha. Set the softness to 5 and cut away to 5. In the CC glass effect, set the softness to somewhere around 140 and the height to around minus 10 and set the displacement to minus 500. In both the CC glass and CC blob lights, set the light type to point light. Create a new composition and name the composition as main. From the project panel, bring in the text composition into the main composition, bring in the lens flare stock file and change the blending mode to add. Search for curves from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the text layer. Change the curves as shown so that we get the gold colored text. This would do. Let's see how it looks. I am stretching the lens flare file to the entire composition length. Right click on the lens flare file and choose time and click on time stretch. In the new duration, set the duration of the composition and click OK. Let's see how it looks like. 
Yeah, fine. Select the two layers and right click to pre-compose them. Click on move all attributes and change the name as gold text and click OK. Bring in the smoke transition from the project panel to the main composition and scale it down to the size of the gold text. Now set the track mat of the gold text layer to luma mat. Search for rough and edges effect from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the smoke transition file. I am fine tuning the settings to get a proper look. The length of that smoke transition is too high, it's of more than 8 seconds. So I am compressing it to the length of the composition. Let's ramp preview this. Yeah, that's good. I am scaling up a bit. I am changing some values in the rough and edges. Offset value to 52 and evolution to around 40. From the project panel, bring in the background file to the composition. Search for curves and apply into the background layer. Change the graph as shown. Bring in the particles from the project panel and time stretch it to the duration of the composition. Change the blend mode to add. Bring in the smoke file to the composition and change the blend mode to add. Scale the smoke and particles file to the size of the composition. Search for tint effect from the effects and presets panel and apply it to the smoke file. Change the color of map white to 2 something around of the color of the text layer copy the tint effect and apply it to the particles layer also as well copy the tint effect into the background layer and click on the swap colors so that we get a dark background Let's ramp preview this. Go to the smoke file and decrease the opacity amount to something around 30. Now ramp preview this. Yeah, that's better. Change the curve map of the background layer to something like this. Let's see how it looks like. Have to fine tune some more. Now ramp preview this. Yeah, that would do. Create a new solid and change the color to 
black and click ok create a mask for the entire composition size by clicking on the shape layer select mask 1 in the mask path select shape set the units to percentage of source change the top value to 12 percentage and the bottom value to 88 percentage click on the inverted checkbox so that we get a letter box now ramp preview this that's it let's see the output once more The music used in this video is from No Copyright Sounds. I will leave a link in the description. If you want the track, you can check that out. That's it. I hope you liked this video. If you have enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I will leave a link in the description. Also hit that like button and share it with your friends. Also, if you have anything to say, please feel free to comment down below. Once again, thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is Raudran signing off.